Every day I go on several walks with my dog, Franklin, and on those walks, I listen to countless podcast episodes. Three walks a day, 365 days a year. That comes to around 1,095 walks in a year. So as you probably already have guessed, that's a lot of podcast episodes. And many of those podcast episodes that I've listened to have been interviews with Mr. Beast. I've listened to every single Mr. Beast interview that I could find, and I wanna share with you the top tips that I've learned from these interviews. If you're new here, hi, I'm Molly. I started as a broke college dropout with just 81 cents to my name. This was my POS car, and I leveraged that into a multiple six figure per year photography studio. Soon other photographers started asking me how I did it. So I started creating free content to grow my following online and paid digital products. And I grew that into a $2 million per year digital info products business. And now I help content creators and aspiring content creators just like you to grow and monetize your following so you can help your followers on a deeper level and make a full-time living doing what you love. All right, I'm about to share with you what I found to be the top five best tips that Jimmy has shared in all of his interviews. And you're definitely gonna wanna stick around for number five because I find it to be hands down the best advice that you can get for growing your YouTube channel. Okay, so advice number one is make better videos. And I'm not going to lie, the amount of times I've heard him say this in his interviews is infinite. <laughs> the limit does not exist. And I remember as a beginner YouTuber, I would get so annoyed by this. Like, yeah, Jimmy, we get it. Make better videos. Seems pretty obvious, but could you tell us the actual facts, <laughs> the actual data, the actual tips of how to make better videos? But the truth is, is that how to make better videos differs for every single niche, every single creator. It just widely differs. And now as somebody who has about 20,000 subscribers on YouTube at the time I'm making this video, I actually have to say this is really good advice. <laughs> and I shouldn't have been annoyed at this advice as a beginner because the truth is, is that if you make your videos a little bit better every single time, that is indeed how you're going to grow on YouTube. And how you make them better every single time, like I said, is not only going to depend on your niche, who you are as a creator, the types of videos you create, but also different people are good at different things. So maybe you're really good with the camera tech and the lighting and the audio and all that stuff. So you need to make the research and the scripting and the actual talking on camera better. Or maybe you're really good at those things and you need to make the camera and the lighting and the audio better. It just really depends on the creator. But I took this advice to heart and I did not batch a ton of videos up front for the first like couple years being a YouTuber because I took this advice, I made a video, put it out, looked at the analytics, and then decided how to make that next video better. For example, if you batch six months of videos at once, you're only going to learn every six months. But if you create one video and learn from it, create the next video, you're going to learn every single video. So this is solid advice. And if you want my exact YouTube script template, you can find that in the link in the description below this video completely for free. Okay, the second biggest tip that I see Jimmy share a lot in his interviews is replace the word algorithm with people. <laughs> because a lot of times creators will say things like, the algorithm hates me. And Jimmy's like, no, it just replaced algorithm with people. It doesn't mean the algorithm hates you. It means people didn't like your video. And this is so true. A lot of times it doesn't even matter what social media platform are on, people like to blame the social platform or the algorithm. But the truth is, is that the YouTube algorithm simply just shows your video to more people if the people who saw it liked it. So if your video isn't getting shown to more and more and more people, then that means that the first set of people that watched your video didn't really like it. It probably means that the percentage viewed of your video is low or the click-through rate is low or both are low. Because in order for your video to keep getting shown and really explode and go viral, you need to have a good click-through rate, which means people are actually interested in the title and thumbnail. They're clicking, they wanna watch the video, and you have to have a good percentage of your video viewed. This, in my opinion, is the most important part once you've nailed click-through rate, because it really tells the algorithm, hey, these people really liked this video. They watched 40, 50, 60% of this video. And that's gonna tell the algorithm that people like this video so it will show it to more people. So the bottom line is that the algorithm doesn't decide really anything. It just takes the feedback from the actual viewers. How much did they view the video? What's the click-through rate? Did they comment? Did they like these kinds of things to decide, hey, should we show this video to more people? It's actually quite simple. So make better videos, keep your people, viewers, ideal clients in mind when you're creating those videos, because if they like the videos, then the algorithm is going to show it to more people. The third tip, which I would say is my favorite, but number five is actually still my favorite, 
But the third tip is to create and publish 100 videos because your first 100 videos are going to suck. And I remember hearing this as a new creator being like, what do you mean? A hundred videos? Like that's so many videos. That's so much time, so much money, you know, if you're paying for an editor, things like that. But the truth is, is that he's right. And I think a lot of times people hold back from publishing their videos because they're like, oh, this video isn't perfect. You know, it's going to suck. And the truth is, is no matter how hard you try, it is going to suck a year from now. You're going to look back and be like, oh my God, that video was bad. Even the videos I create today, every single video, I look back a year from now going, oh, that's bad. And that's actually a good thing because it means that you're improving as a creator. And so instead of getting hung up on thinking like, oh, I can't publish this video because it's not perfect, it's not perfect. I think that you should look at it as just get your 100 videos done. Don't try to be perfect. Just get better and better little by little with each video. Really focus on getting those 100 videos done. And by the time that you're even 50 videos in, you'll probably be like, wow, I've grown so much as a creator. You probably won't even remember that you're trying to do this piece of advice. But ultimately, as a creator, you have to throw perfectionism out the window because ultimately you are going to look back someday and no matter how great your video was, no matter how much effort you put in, and you're going to think that that video sucks. And again, that's okay. It means you're growing and that's actually a good thing. So get those 100 videos done, publish those dang videos, stop letting fear hold you back. Worst case scenario, you don't get that many views. Who cares? You grow, you make better videos, and then your views tend to go up. So you do need to take action and just start making and publishing videos. And if you're wondering how you can make money before you're monetized on YouTube, the best way that I've done this is with passive digital products. And I have a brand new free training to show you step-by-step -step on exactly how to do this. It's the first link in the description below this video and it's completely for free. Okay, so tip number four definitely ties into number three and it is be willing to fail. This is such good advice no matter if you're putting out YouTube videos or you're doing something with your business, you have to be willing to fail. There's a quote that's something like the first to fail wins or the fastest to fail wins. And it's true because you can't avoid failure. You cannot avoid mistakes. Even if you sat in your living room all day every day and you did nothing, there would still be a way that failure or mistakes would find you because it's a part of life. It's a part of growth. It's a part of learning and it's not a bad thing. So stop thinking of failing as a bad thing. I make mistakes. I learn from things every single day in my business and it's a good thing because once I make that mistake, I can learn from it and become a better creator, become a better business owner. And that's what you need to be doing with your video. So just get the videos done publish the videos, know that, you know, you're going to grow with each video. You're going to make mistakes. And also say you're going to fail is really harsh. You're not going to fail unless you just flat out quit making YouTube videos. So I like to look at it as learning lessons or learning from your mistakes. So again, stop letting that fear hold you back. Take action. Know that it's okay to make mistakes because you're going to learn from those mistakes and get better the faster you take action and the faster you're willing to make those mistakes so that you can learn from them. Okay, the fifth and final tip is to get better with each video. And I feel like I've touched on this because every single tip leads into this, which is why it's my absolute favorite tip. But you might be wondering like I was when I heard this advice in an interview, how can I get better with each video? Again, there are several components to making a YouTube video. You have your camera, you have your lens, you have your lighting, you have your microphone, you have your scripting, you have your research, you have your pacing, your speaking, all different things. You have your editing, your graphics, your description, like there is literally so many different things. And so don't think you have to better every single one of those with each video. Just pick one thing to improve with each video. And it doesn't need to be spending more money on the camera. In fact, you can definitely start out making videos with just your cell phone. I promise you that it's going to be great. The cameras on our phones nowadays are really good. Even the audio quality, you can use something like headphones or you know AirPod Pros, whatever you have. So try not to focus too much on the actual gear in the beginning. Again, it can be little things like the pacing, the research, the scripting, even the background of your videos. If you go back to some of my first videos, the background is just whatever I had at the time. It doesn't look cool. But about two years into me making YouTube videos, I was like, okay, that's it. I'm going to make a better background for my YouTube videos. But I didn't decide this like one day after creating YouTube videos. <laughs> I put in two years of work and that just shows you that like the background doesn't make that big of a difference. But what makes a big difference is making one little tweak with every single video. 
So if I was starting out as a creator, I would focus the most in the beginning on the research, the titles, the thumbnails. Then I would focus the most on your speaking, your delivery, your pacing, and the audio. That is way more important than the actual camera and lighting. Then maybe you can focus on the camera and lighting or the background. There's so many different things you can do. So let me know in the comments, what's the one thing right now that you want to do most to improve your YouTube videos? Now that you know some of the best YouTube advice given from Mr. Beast in his interviews, you might be wondering how much could somebody actually make from YouTube during the first two weeks of being monetized? Well, I can tell you my exact data when you go ahead and watch this video here next. Because when you pair what you just learned with what's in this video, it's going to pair up being motivated and inspired with actual cold hard data. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.